No, he's not inebriated now. It, he finished drinking uh, mid-evening, and, and I've given him lots of water since... Uh... Yeah. Gutters next. Chop, chop. I want my money's worth. You want to look under my apron, more like. Do you fancy swapping, mate? Perhaps you'd care to join him. Builders in the buff. You wouldn't be able to afford me. Provided I can get him there, of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you then. And uh, thank you so much. Um, hey. No liquids after 8 a.m. I'm not having the op, I told you. And I would have thought you would have sobered up enough to have come to your senses. Give me my brew, Dad. Then what? Act as normal and the cancer spreads? Yeah, well, I'll feel better than I will with the chemo. To your brain, to your liver, to your lungs. David, you can die if you don't do this. I know that you're scared. What if Jacob were facing the same operation? What would you be saying to him? Be brave. Get better for all the people that love him. He needs you. Amber needs you. I need you for pity's sake. Yeah, but I won't be me. I'm rubbish when I'm ill. Then I'll look after you. Now, you're going to get dressed, and then I'm going to drive you to the hospital. Does that sound like a plan? Will you stay with me, Dad? Spoon in the junk drawer. Again. All right, eagle eyes. Tell you what. Why don't we put a few reminders around the place? I'll do it. This might come in handy. I'll have to forget where to put something that's harder to spell. Velociraptor. What? <laughs> He's doing dinosaur week at school. Right, book bag and teeth cleaned, OK? Yes, boss. Oh, hang on, that's my phone. Get milk. Priya. Hmm. Oh, please wouldn't go on this. Right, are you going to be all right? Of course, yeah. Uh, anything special you want me to do? Uh, well, laundry mountains disappeared and kitchen sparkling clean, so... Have a day off. Enjoy yourself. Oh, love, I thought you'd still be in bed. I heard you up half the night. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Is it this lad you've been seeing? You can tell me, love, I won't judge. <laughs> You're so odd. I'm right. When did you last see him? Mum, praying. <sighs> Look, I don't want to talk about it. I just hate seeing you upset. <sighs> It must be stupid if he can't see what a prize you are. You seriously mean that? Yes, I do. And if he doesn't say anything like that, then, well, it's not worth wasting your energy. I'd tell him straight. I bet you would. Well, you can't fault Megan for efficiency. Having the fundraising check ready so quick. All right, Doc. Mrs. Doc. Hello. Oh. You never told me this place was so, uh, liberated. What's the grand total, then? Sorry? The fundraiser, which I'm still paying for. I should get you to work. Um, we'll let you know once we add in the online donations, OK? these things. This is all great for your image in the community, baby. <laughs> My image is just fine. Mm, shame we didn't volunteer you for the auction. Local GP and good sport. Yeah, the only person I'll be running around after is you. <laughs> Two coffees, please, Brenda. Oh, it's such a shame. You're the only man I know who can really carry off a suit. <laughs> oh, they'll be back. He's just styling the scruffs for a while. Yeah. Hey, don't worry, babe. I'll get that. I guess he's still on unpaid leave. That's a shame. Let's hope they don't make it permanent, eh? You can't keep blaming Mukesh. He lost his son in all this, and... I know, I know it's not the same as losing Tess. 
But for both your sakes, you have to let it go. Morning. Oh, bearable company at last. <laughs> Sit down, madam. I can't, Sandy. I've got to do the early budget. I've been putting off till Edna got back, but I guess I'm going to have to muddle through on my own. Oh. Oh, those aren't the files I left in reasonable order. Guilty. You've not even been in the job a month. Yeah. But I've been prepping the paperwork for the Archdeacon's visitation reports. Let me help. If it's the annual budget, it won't be that different to last year's. I don't know, Ashley. I can't let you do that. I take the offer and skedaddle. Uh, don't forget to look after her. Are you going to be all right on your own for the rest of the day? I mean, is this it then? <laughs> Don't worry, uh, I'll uh, keep you posted. Will you give him my best? Not that he wants to hear from me, probably, but uh, he must be breaking it. <laughs> yeah, we both are. You're so young and fit. Exactly. And this is just the first hurdle. What if the cancer is aggressive? What if he can't handle the chemo? We'll worry about that when we get to it. He needs one thing from you, Eric, and that's to be strong. How are those women seen a man's body before? Okay, interesting take on Dress Down Friday. But, uh, what's with the grass? I've been streaming Pearl's bush. She's confiscated me clothes, me wallet, me keys, me phone. I tried ringing Nicola on the landline, but she wouldn't pick up. It was worth me 200 quid, then. <laughs> that was you. I did it for Eliza, eh? For Megan. And your fat load of use that turned out to be. I was supposed to be looking after Eliza today. But Megan won't answer me calls since yesterday. She can't use your kid to punish you. That's not how parenting works. Well, says the man who's butt naked apart from an apron. You know what? You're right. Now, I have bust a gut to prove myself. I'm not giving up now. I, um... I couldn't borrow a jacket, could I, Jay? Jimmy and Jay are taking this bromance a bit too far. <laughs> oh, you should have seen Jay yesterday doing his Mr Nice Guy act to suck up to Megan. Not that she'd lower herself. Mm. Yeah, we'll go back to a cheat. Megan's got more class than that. Oh, I don't know about that, but uh, dignity counts for a lot. Orchidectomy. Still can't get over such a, an exotic name. <laughs> Sounds like something Doug would do in his greenhouse. How do you think it'll feel? Waking up, missing a piece of me. Do you reckon it'll itch? You know, like you hear people saying when they have a leg amputated. You just have to look at the bigger picture. Will the silicone get infected? Explode? Okay, Mr. Metcalf, I'm going to give you your pre med and then we'll get you down to theatre. You get the right testicle, won't you? As in the right one. I mean, the right one, not the left one. It's not my left. We'll mark it, don't worry. So, you'll feel a little tingle. Thank you. It'll all be over before you know it. Dare I interrupt? Just finishing. Oh, wow. May I? Yeah. This is a... Uh, great. Thanks, Ashley. Let me have a look. You've, uh, you've missed a row out. What? 
But it's okay, it's easily done. Where's March? Oh, I can't have missed it up. Oh, hang on. Ashley, it's fine. It's not. It's the most stupid of mistakes. He's been working so hard, his tea's gone cold. <laughs> I'm porching him for my bookkeeping next. Ashley, wait. No. Oh, oh, no. Doing errands. Yeah, I'll call you now. Hey, Eric. Um, me and Diana just wondering where you're at. We need loo rolls. <sighs> Gone to theatre. That's good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She's um, just with me now. What's he doing in the theatre? Um, picking up brochures for the guests. Jacob. Uh, customer, Eric. Gotta go. Where's David? Was it Angie who found it? I told her I gave a lift to a colleague. Luckily, she believed me. Okay, so no real harm done then. <laughs> Look, I genuinely am sorry, but I just got angry and I snapped. And you're telling me you're not a child? It's not going to happen again. I know the deal now. Look, we've both been lying, but we don't have to anymore. That's a good thing, isn't it? Because we know everything about each other. We can just be honest, no more secrets. And we can go back to what we were. Just please give us another chance. We can't go back. What we had, it wasn't real. You just have to accept that. How can you, you just... Stop. You can beg as much as you like, it won't change a thing. I'm only begging because of how I feel about you. I hate this. I hate being so pathetic, so desperate. I am not that person. But that is what you've turned me into. So, yeah, maybe this is a good thing. Because I am done sneaking around. Pretending to my mum I've got some stupid teenage crush. I want a relationship where I can be real. I don't have to be ashamed or guilty because I deserve that. So this is it. You're not going to hear from me again. Goodbye, Jermaine. Been on for a while. How does it look, Dad? Um, it's got a dressing on at the moment, but the surgery went as planned. We took out the testicle and the lymph nodes. Who needs them anyway? And we'll treat what's left of the cancer with chemo. That won't be for a few weeks. We've got to get you healed up first. Try and rest now and give me a buzz if you start to feel tender. Worse than I feel. <laughs> Why do you go home? Absolutely not. I said I would not leave you. Get yourself off, Dad. Please. Before I get angry. Text me if you need anything. Anything at all. No. You can't just fly off from your mum's whenever you feel like it. Yeah, I can though. It's easy. Fuck, you're 
bridge. I haven't even been on a plane. You've got flipping nifty jet on speed dial. <laughs> nifty jet isn't even an airline. Did you have a good flight, did you? Because I ended up at East Midlands. Then my train here was delayed. You know, I was just sat there, sunning myself by the pool. I didn't make my mind up till today. They need me for the big match. Oh, right, yeah, cool. Silly me. Uh, Jackie, can you go take <sighs> care for a walk? You know, you just could have warned me. Still got me sunscreen on. Uh, sorry. Hmm. David's in hospital today. Yeah, I know. You're not supposed to. The cancer's spread to his lymph nodes. What? It's okay. They can take them out and all and blast him with chemo. Oh. Why didn't the flaming idiot tell me that? Because he... He wanted you to stay normal for Jakey. All that matters to him is that he don't find out. How come you do? I thought it were just me him and his dad in the circle of knowledge. Oh, yeah, and, um, Zach. Eric told me. Oh, because... Well, Callie asked David if he liked me. He said no. Awkward. Then we slept together and it was a massive disaster. <sighs> Two port and lemons, Your Majesty. He makes a lovely slip. Anything else you'd like me to do? Lick the table clean, perhaps? Oh, stop moaning, Jimmy. At least I gave you your clothes back. And very itchy they are, too. I miss the feeling of the breeze on my skin. Oh. Was on sale. I could have picked up a bargain pot washer, seeing as Eric's gone on a cultural recce. Eric has? Oh, he's alone to himself. He won't know what's hit him when I'm his business partner. Cultural? What do you mean, cultural? He's gone to the theatre. Just took himself. Oh, Eliza. The theatre. She's with Sam. I got it wrong. Big time. If I messed up head, I just. I thought we could put it all behind us. What, wipe the slate clean? Do you know how insulting that is? It wasn't meant to be. I love being a dad. I just wanted it all. You always push it too far. I'm an idiot, all right? And based on our track record, I will probably screw up again. But please, don't use our daughter to punish me. Can we at least agree on that? OK. As long as you get it into your skull, that I will never take you back. Hi. Um, oh, I'm just covering for Carla's dinner break. And smile. OK. Grandad. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Where's my dad? I got him this really sick T-shirt. <laughs> This is a surprise. Mm, yeah, well, they came back early. Yeah, since no one actually bothered, you know, keeping in touch. When's he coming back? Uh, he's on a business trip. Mm. How long for? Uh, a few days. Days? Uh, yeah, he's checking out new suppliers. <laughs> you know, it's all about food miles. Um, everyone wants to know what orchard the marmalade is uh, coming from. <laughs> he's on a jolly, isn't he? Uh, I'm going to ring him, find out about this business trip. I'll be finished. Oh, I'm crazy about you. What about Angie? Well, she doesn't have to affect us. If you can't handle the fact that I've got someone else in my life, then I'll understand. I'll, I'll go. He said I can't handle it. How long will I be staying? For five days. We need to make sure everything's healing as it should. I'll leave this here in case you need a pee.
Hey, JK, that was Portugal. Ah, rubbish. I came back. Where are you? You can... Uh, um, somewhere. Um, a town. Sandwich. It's in Kent. You're not getting bevied in a pub, are you? You sound dead weird. <laughs> no, I'm not getting bevied. Just miss you, that's all. Get back here, then. I've got a football match tomorrow and I've got a train. I'm well unfair. Are you... Trust your mum with anything, can I? I need to score a hat trick or we're gonna get relegated. I'm their only hope. Um, okay. Uh okay, okay. I'll I'll come back early. No one's getting relegated, not on my watch. I knew I could rely on you. Always, mate. We're a team, me and you. Never forget it. Why are you still being soft? <laughs> um, I love you. Not wrong with that, is there? Love you too. See you tomorrow. If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. Well, tempers boil over and Jason lashes out at everyone. Your Friday night double bill of Coronation Street starts next. And it's brand new gripping drama on the way later, based on a true story. James Nesbitt stars in The Secret at 9.